So always nice to be the first one after lunch. <laughs> Luckily, this is not too heavily theoretical, so it's more like overview, so I think you can survive. Uh, so my name is Sam Spinesta, and I started uh, late as a PhD student. Uh, I worked uh, from before, I've been working also in the public sector, uh, various uh, organizations in the Norway. And right now I'm working yeah, as a cybersecurity architect in one of the municipalities in Trondheim, not Norway. In Norway, the third largest uh, town in Norway. So that's kind of what introduction to my research topic as well, and why it becomes something to explore. So um, just a quick, uh, quick introduction and some background on the research. I know a lot about methods and so on. We can go into the sectoral thematic areas identified and then there will be discussion. Uh, yeah, I'd like to start off a little with some background information. Um, this is a topic that's kind of personal to me as well because uh, it's something I work with and uh, experience daily the, and the challenges that municipal organizations have when it comes to cybersecurity and the kind of problems that we have. There are there are a lot of municipalities around and they have uh, quite a lot of responsibilities. So managing cybersecurity is uh, quite a difficult challenge. And I think that's an area that needs more research as well on how these kinds of organizations can manage just in a safe and secure manner. Um, and also, aside from the personal, I think it's a big societal aspect as well. You know, we can say that the municipalities is where you're born and where you live and where you die in some way as well. So um, it's part of big part of people's life as well. You have from uh, pre-birth, uh, kind of maternal care side, you have help from children, elderly, uh, you have the school system and education, you have roads, infrastructure, water supplies, wastewater treatments, and also social services for the most vulnerable parts of our uh, population as well. And all of this is uh, trying to be managed uh, when it comes to the ICT side in often the same infrastructures that very tightly connected. And that has uh, already led to some quite catastrophic incidents. I think uh, we had one major one in uh, Norway where one of the municipalities got hit by a large ransomware attack that kind of very significant effects uh, on the health side, uh, people on nursing homes were necessary to use old fashioned bells to call on their uh, uh, nurses uh, instead of patient alerting systems and uh, they were also released very personal information on the dark web from uh, people that could use social services as well so that's kind of big impact when something happens to a municipality you don't really think so much about it also we have very complex mix so would say quite incompatible cybersecurity requirements as well in these kind of organizations where you have from the school side, you have uh, teachers wanting to adopt the latest technology quickly to be able to adjust their courses more or less on the run. Um, we always discuss the privacy issues on using a lot of the technologies that are coming in that uh, there's a lot of wish for flexibility. You have the healthcare sector where you have all the private information but also more and more requirements for high availability as well to be able to do those services. We have the water supply, where you more or less touch upon critical infrastructure for the society as well, um, and also into the landscape of cyber physical systems that have their own ch interesting challenges when it comes to cybersecurity, of course. Um, all of this is trying to be solved in kind of very tightly connected infrastructures as well, so that's very challenging and also of course have what the rest of the industry is facing with the, the cyber security skills of shortages as well that makes it very difficult. So all of this kind of start of my research work as well I wanted to uh, focus on. So um, uh, we wanted to do a mapping survey to see a little more on what does research know about this area so far. Um, and uh, that made some interesting research questions, I think, then trying to see what's the state of art so far when it comes to municipal cybersecurity research, uh, what are the research areas of concern right now, um, and also what methods have been used so far to investigate this area. So uh, we started doing uh, what you call a systematic uh, literature 
or mapping a review can all work more or less like a systematic literature review, but um, while a systematic literature review is more focused on discovering evidence to support something or see how it could be managed, the systematic mapping review is more kind of open questions on how a thing is being covered, what's the main themes, and are there any gaps in knowledge that we need to address. So in this, uh, the process is uh, quite similar to uh, to uh, the uh, systematic literature review from how you collect data analysis from uh, from from the databases and so on. So we started up with quite a large number of uh, articles, really, uh, because the themes that or the keywords that we used to investigate this are mostly on municipal and local government and cybersecurity, and trying to, to combine those areas. And those keywords are very frequently used to have a kind of lot of research using the municipalities, maybe as one of their sources of data or as, as an arena for the results of the research. And also, luckily, I would say cybersecurity is coming into touch with many other areas as well. So it's, the terms are used frequently, even though kind of the main essence that we want to focus on. Kind of the cybersecurity impact the methods around the municipalities uh, are quite a few. So we had kind of a large uh, reduction of numbers, and then we also had some. Oh, the last box here is uh, was added after the review process, thanks to very useful input from the reviewers as well, and adding some more around local governments. If there's a you need to terms or the differences between organizations when it comes to the terms uh, that are being used or differences between nation states. Yeah. So during this time, we started to identify some categories of informational research areas uh, that we looked into. Um, there's a, definitely what is the hottest topic when it comes to municipal cybersecurity is definitely the realm of smart cities. I think that's kind of a theme that's been used uh, quite a lot. So, uh, any areas as a venue for research, but also human factors are one of the major areas, and also the management and governance areas may be one of the larger ones. And luckily, I guess we can see some kind of good trend in the increase of uh, focus, but uh, might be hard to say if that's really a tr generic trend or if it's really a trend of more research or just more society focusing more on cybersecurity in general, but at least there are also going up. So that's a good. I'll uh, give you a quick world of the roller coaster ride through these uh, areas uh, to kind of give a small taste of what this kind of research is about. So, the first area is, of course, uh, smart cities as uh, kind of a topic uh, theme de jour. Um, it's, uh, the research on smart cities is definitely more numerous than what has been identified here like then i kind of think that's an interesting aspect as well we see smart cities being used in research as a research area or topic where you can deliver your research into and have a good team around it but um, i think a lot of the research you know they are situated in the smart city area they seem to Kind of lose track of the municipality. So I guess that's kind of a finding here as well. That we didn't find that much. I had kind of a focus on the municipal and local government aspects, even though you use the, the smart city, which is arguably a municipality. Uh, we still lose kind of track of it. But still, uh, some interesting research find there. A lot of them are were also literature reviews with the various teams identified around privacy and security and kind of main aspects of. Uh, the smart city, which is uh, smart healthcare and smart power systems and city infrastructures and so on. And a lot of the different algorithms and protocols used on, in this area. Also a lot of yeah, reviews of security standards and various approaches to risk management when it comes to this area. Uh, blockchain, of course, also has a place in this area. Uh, it's arguable approaches around this, but they're very much focused on the kind of uh, management of sensor networks and distributed uh, information or distributing it in a privacy friendly manner. Um, 
the next area I think um, it's also more connected to the cyber physical real as mentioned so this is an area that I think is very challenging as well for the municipalities to be able to do well uh, about two topics on this one very there were different approaches at least one is more of an action research with the researchers created within the municipality and developing an OT policy for water processing and the other uh, but the difference being more of a game theoretic approach on kind of optimization problems of finding the best tactics to prevent an attack and an attacker finding the best strategies to attack and kind of optimizing the scenario. Elections were also uh, one of the topics identified. So these varies from the more general to more uh, the human level. Um, so we <coughs> focus on the electronic elections and the kind of problems around the water education for transparency when doing elections and i think that's going to have a lot of focus last years as well when it comes to election security um, but also an interesting part on kind of doing awareness training in a very specialized manner for uh, the municipalities when it comes to quite specifically the elections and what election workers need to know about cyber security um, that touches more or less over on the next issue on human issues and uh, awareness as well. Um, so we have this election specific awareness training, but you also have the cybersecurity communication and information channels uh, that was used in the pandemic and a case study on this. And this had some kind of interesting data as well on how cybersecurity is managed in these small organizations. For example, one example here is that we have a only 74% have, uh, or as many as 74% have less than one dedicated staff connected to cybersecurity in Swedish municipalities. And it's a bit very natural to say that you have a challenge manage, managing cybersecurity. Even if you can arrange it in various manners, it's still a challenge. Uh, but focus otherwise on using established tools like this uh, NICE framework. Um, it's, um, they worked in the uh, National Initiative for Cybersecurity Education, um, also using this with an approach like the competency based education to kind of develop some pathways for municipal cybersecurity education. This is very useful. And also, uh, interesting effect uh, study on the effect of ransomware attacks really on the population around it, so looking into does the populace around the the municipalities respond in some way to the approach cybersecurity on the private level on various manners based on whether the local municipality has had an incident. So, uh, seeing that uh, there is a lot of potential for things going wrong when it comes to cybersecurity in municipalities, of course, there's also a focus on uh, the crisis management side when things do go wrong. So, we found in some studies that are focusing on expert interviews to develop scenarios and good ways of doing training for municipalities when it comes to cybersecurity and simulations of incidents and so on and how to manage it in the time and scenarios and rules and so on. And also some focus on using you know, cyber ranges as a way of training to kind of integrate both um, the high level crisis management and a more technical level of, level of managing the incidents. <laughs> Uh, on the management and governance area, we found a lot of sort of some studies on more the quantitative manner, a uh, large nationwide survey in the US of local governments, and also a more quantitative study of breaches and studying the effect of uh, cybersecurity incidents uh, and uh, the effect of investments in cybersecurity. And also, a study on outsourcing, finding some interesting arguments around. Uh, that when you are in light of the cybersecurity skill shortages, uh, moving to outsourcing, and uh, that's also giving some challenges because of, of the awareness that you need to have to really protect the system well enough. Cloud services is also one of the topics, and uh, also some security metrics. And finally, also some touching on the technical aspects as well, uh, forming a Long, longitudinal study uh, really, really looking into the effects on awareness of using HTTPS in municipalities over time and uh, see if there's a 
progress in that area. So one of the research questions identified was uh, what are the methods being used in this area? So a lot of the focus uh, seemed to be on the quantitative, uh, the qualitative methods uh, using uh, descriptive case studies, interviews, and document studies, for example, to um, use this as the main common approach. And also, while there is a need for quantitative data in this area as well to com compare and contrast what works and what does not work. I guess some of the challenges that the municipalities face are often also our nature, something they are more connected maybe to the organizational aspect and the human sides. And so, also in that light, uh, these more qualitative methods seem to have a good place. So, trying to structure an uh, analysis to see, use the, what's called the Levitz diamond because it's a method used for organizational change analysis really so it kind of combines uh, the social technical elements we have uh, the technology on one side but you also have a good place for the structure around the organization and how things is being done and the people working in there the human side and also more on the tasks that the organization is tasked with solving so um, all the 27 papers that they identified, we would say that the 20 of them have focused more on the structure side. So they present more of a high level uh, overview of risks um, in their area, smart city selection, and so on, and, and focus more on the high level side. Uh, for papers, we are focused on the human aspects, so to see uh, more like you know, awareness training and communication about cyber security uh, in these areas. And, um, on the technical side, um, this is a model for kind of service, the social technical aspects. So you can just say you have more of a hard technology, uh, computer systems and these kinds of things, but you also would call, classify more soft technology like processes and frameworks and so on as one of the technology aspects here. So the interesting here is then that we found uh, none of them focusing more on the tasks area and really on how municipalities really practice uh, cybersecurity when it comes to these issues, but more on the top level. I think that's uh, one of the findings more for the need for research in the future as well. Um, we found very little focus on the cross functional or cross organizational interaction that I talked about in the introduction as well on how municipalities are structured and how connected they are in their whole. On the social and organizational side, when it comes to processes and small units responsible for covering IT for quite a large different uh, needs, but and also on the technological side of being able to manage this in a good way with the, the variety of technological solutions. And also, as identified, so, uh, this lack of focus on tasks and capabilities and really on the practice of cybersecurity as uh, such kind of a work you need to do when it comes to vulnerability management, when it comes to security monitoring and so on. You see little focus on that. But um, there's an uh, area I think of need of improvement in looking into more on the task sides and see how can we do this in these kinds of cross-functional organizations. Um, there might be room for more tools, more methods to work in, into it and one of the areas we are suggesting looking into this, uh, looking into the area where, where social technical simulation kind of tools where you can see more the actors and the, the, those working in it and also maybe see more of the ecosystem side as well because the municipalities are very dependent on various vendors outside, for example, uh, in the healthcare domain where you have various uh, vendors on the patient monitoring and home-based solutions that uh, many of the municipalities are introducing at least. Norway and probably many other countries as well, uh, very, very dependent on the cybersecurity realm on what the vendors are really doing and the responsibility they are taking. So having good uh, tools and methods to analyze this uh, dependency is also uh, something that we need to see more about. So um, it's definitely one of the areas I very personally very interested in and continuing to work on, but uh, we're interested also in those reflections and questions, of course, we will see 
Does anyone have any feedback on using methods to address this area? Thank you very much.